uh, in junior high, I had a science teacher um, and I had an English teacher who had a picture of Garfield with books <laughs> tied to him. <clears throat> and the poster said Garfield was saying, I'm, I'm learning by osmosis. And the joke was like, I'm tying books to me so I don't have to read them. I could just learn by osmosis. <laughs> and then our science teacher was teaching us os- osmosis. And he said, it's, you know, osmosis. It's like the poster in the other room. And we're like, huh? He's like, you know, with the books. And he starts laughing because he thinks the poster's funny. <laughs> and he goes, the little orange kid. The little orange kid with all the books tied to him. <laughs> We're like, Garfield? <laughs> he thought Garfield was a little orange kid. <laughs> So apparently I was educated by some real pop culture <laughs> illiterate teachers. Here's the here's my thing. The, the, the thing that really puts that story over the top for me <laughs> is that even if you don't know Garfield as an intellectual property, how do you look at a drawing of Garfield <laughs> and not know that it is a cat? What that about him as child? Ears, yeah. whiskers, naked. Do you think he was a, <laughs> there was a naked boy holding well, then, books? I like your line of thinking with the swagger. Let's think of what made him think that was a child. Yes. And I like to think my science teacher when he grew up, his neighborhood best friend was a naked orange <laughs> with, with whiskers. And a tail. And a thick tail. <laughs> He's like, that's an orange kid. My best friend. <laughs> <laughs> 